Hi, it's Wendy with Entrepreneur by Design, where we discuss all things small business. And I just wanted to say welcome back after the big holiday and New Year's break. And I hope you all had a fabulous holiday season. Now we're all back to work, back to the norm, and probably losing weight and eating better and drinking less. <laughs> um, so to start off the new year, I just wanted to share um, what are the biggest mistakes, the four biggest mistakes that most small business owners make when usually within the first two years or so of their business. So the first one is thinking that your work is more important than the actual running of your business. So a lot of solopreneurs, um, you know, people who uh, work for themselves basically, and especially people who are first time entrepreneurs that are, you know, the first person in their entire family to be running a business, often begin a small business um, with, with their career. So something that they've been trained in um, and that they're passionate about, for example, a massage therapist, may start up her own practice and all she focuses on is is the practice itself is is what um, you know what what she potentially offers her clients instead of the runnings of the business so that happens a lot and a lot of people who go into business for themselves don't even really want to run a business so it's very important when you first start your business or within the first year to make sure that you understand all of the different um, systems and policies and procedures and whatnot that go into running a business uh, so that you know what you're getting yourself into and so that you can succeed. Um, and now number two is um, the other thing is most small business owners and entrepreneurs think they can do everything themselves when they first start out. They don't realize how important it is to have a team for long-term um, success in the business. And so they're wearing all of the hats in their business and get completely overwhelmed and burnt out. So it's a really good idea to realize that you are going to need help and that you are going to need some money to be able to grow your business. It is very, very hard to grow a business all on your own and to do it on a shoestring budget. Almost so hard that I would say don't even bother trying. <laughs> so you do need to have some money to make money. It doesn't need to be huge amounts, but you need to be able to spend uh, on your business. Now, I'll, I want to show you something here. I have my cat here. She decided to pop in on my video. So, as always, I say just run a video. Doesn't matter what goes on in it because <laughs> you might get a cat in it. <laughs> and of course, she comes up just when I'm doing the video. She hasn't been around all day. <laughs> Um, anyways, back to business. So um, the other thing a lot of small business owners forget to do is celebrating small victories. Um, really giving yourself a pat on the back for the small things that you're achieving along the way. Uh, we all have big goals and we want to get to that goal and we think that the, the end goal is the be all end all. But really um, the, the, the journey is actually what ends up being the most fulfilling part. So as, as you go along the journey and you accomplish little goals that maybe not seem very significant but just congratulate yourself for them and just really enjoy it and appreciate what you have accomplished already and that will bring more joy into your business and it'll help keep you motivated instead of just feeling like you're spinning your tires all the time because in the first few years it can feel like that and last so the fourth one is not connecting and offering value through email right away <laughs> so a lot of small businesses put email marketing and email value value adding on the back burner or something that they will do one day or they think they might do a little bit of or when they get more time and it, email marketing really is one of the um, quickest ways that you can get more clients. Uh, phoning, good old cold calling and uh, good old full, <laughs> good old fashioned door knocking are some of the most productive ways as well to bring in the cash quick, not the most favored techniques but it brings the money in fast and the other one being email marketing. So um, you are offer a freebie to people to um, have them volunteer to be on your email list and then it's a great way to continue to be able to stay in touch with them. Um, in today's busy online world, people are inundated with information. So even if you're lucky enough to have somebody find you online and really fall in love with your product, they can often get um, swept away in other things that are going on in their environment. Someone interrupts them or something else pops up on the, on the website that they're on and they're gone. So you really want to be able to um, capture an email 
through any of the marketing efforts that you're doing so that you can continue to uh, build a relationship and offer value, which is what I do with my email marketing list. So anyways, that really covers it for today. Um, I have all these tips um, in greater detail, more information on my blog. So you can click below to go through to the blog. And um, other than that, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next little video. Take care.